welcome back to my channel this is crystal and today it's going to be another warts removal pen video and it's going to be a comparison between two devices so i have one that is slightly more expensive and the other one slightly more cheap so we are going to compare them the reason why i decided to do this video is because lately i burned some of my warts again i had a couple here and here and those were new warts some of the new warts popped up like a year after my warts removal pen video but those are not the same warts those are just new warts in a different area on my face when i noticed those warts i decided to look for my warts removal pen and uh, it's nowhere to be found i tried looking for it in my cabinet in my closet but it's just not there so i decided to order another one there's a few options when you search online for warts removal pens so i told myself that since i already reviewed the last warts removal pen that i tried might as well try something new so i found something cheaper and i ordered it and it's this one if you have the warts removal pen that I use, you're gonna see that it's actually a lot smaller. So let me just remove the cable here. So it's a lot smaller, but I have the original one to compare with this one. But this one is actually a lot smaller. And to be honest, I actually like this one more because it's smaller. But there are pros and cons, of course. So I used this one. And then I ordered, again, the warts removal pen that I used to use, which is this one. I'm gonna put all the links in the description box where I got these uh, warts removal pens, but this one in particular didn't come with a box when um, it got to me. It's just this and cable and the pack of needles without box. It, it was just packed in a bubble wrap, which I'm, I'm really wondering why when China makes a lot of like less important products that are in a box and this one is actually like a skincare device so i was wondering why it didn't come in a box i'm just really wondering why but the great thing is it comes with a set of needles you have four no five needles and then one that i i am not really sure what they're called but this one looks more of like injection and this one just looks like a metal with a really sharp tip this is what i usually use because it's just more easy it just feels easier but it comes with these needles as well and they're slightly harder to use this one because it's longer as you can see so i have more control when i use this one the other one of course is this one uh, by the way these don't have brands they're just called the beauty mole removal sweep spot pen so this one doesn't have a brand as well and if you want if i'm gonna compare the size side by side the cheaper one um this is the cheaper one this is the more expensive one and as you can see there's a big size difference i'm also going to be explaining in this video why i recommend having both devices in your kit just because they have they serve different purposes and i think they both work amazing so um this works better for something this works better for something else so i really recommend having both and the bigger one um, com also comes with a set of needles right here um, exact same needles that comes with the other one you get five um, needles that are longer that looks like injection and then the metal here with a really sharp end with the smaller one you get a cable which is this one and uh, if you're gonna notice this one has longer cable and the other one has shorter I'm gonna show you guys so this one comes with a is this a c type no they were like no my class micro uh, micro, uh, <laughs> micro <laughs> jack micro st no, no micro and no, they call micro micro type you can say micro. yeah this is a micro type usb the charger charger yeah this is a micro type charger and this one is a what's this um just a normal jack jack okay. yeah and the cable in this is a lot longer with a smaller warts removal pen yeah so the reason why i don't like this warts removal pen is because you have to uh plug it in a socket and you're supposed to use this while it's plugged in and you can't charge this uh you can't remove this while you're using it uh you really have to plug this in the socket and turn it on and since it's getting electricity directly from the uh, socket uh, for some reason it just burns the warts faster and usually it's a good thing especially if you're burning warts or moles that are that are bigger but if you are burning warts or skin tags like 
tiny tiny skin tags especially those around the eyes um i find it slightly harder to use this because it burns really fast and by the way the burning in this it's not really like a fire you won't really see any fire but it's like a spark it's also the same thing with this with and same thing with any words removal pen but the only thing that i don't like about this is i don't really have much control it also has three options here so there's level one two and three and it's the same thing with the old warts removal pen so as you can see the, the buttons looks almost the same so there are three levels one two and three and then while you are burning your warts all you have to do is to press out and while you're pressing this you can go ahead and burn your warts but um like i said you don't really have much control because even level one is too strong the great thing about this device is that it's perfect for those bigger moles if you want to burn them faster because even if you use level one um it's really going to burn it faster the level one is still a bit too harsh for really really tiny warts i also noticed that since it's burning fast um the pain is lesser so um it can be a good thing so i burned this wart that i had here um, I also burned this and if you guys watch my watch removal pen video you guys know that I have this really annoying bump on my nose I'm not sure if it was a mole or wart I'm not really sure but it looked like skin tag or it's either skin tag or wart definitely not mole but um, I was able to remove it completely maybe there's like one percent left but most of it i was able to remove this really really quickly and to be honest with you guys i didn't really try the number three that much because i was using number two and, and level two and level one more often than number three yeah that is the only thing i can say about this even level one is strong you can still use it on tiny moles and tiny warts but you have to be really really careful it's kind of risky because if you burn your skin too deep especially if you're just burning a really really tiny wart you have the tendency to create like a deep scar on your face or pockmark and you don't want that i tried burning like a tiny tiny wart right here with the smaller one and i accidentally burned it deeper than normal just because the even number one is right. too hot huh i say for you want to tuna later tuna mm -hmm. um okay but eat more if you want to eat more I'm I, I okay, okay. <laughs> it's just a really really tiny wart so i don't really need that power on my face and like i said you can definitely feel the difference of the spark when it's coming from um a device like this that is plugged in getting power directly from the socket and um, this probably explains why this device is stronger so that's a good thing if you're looking for a stronger device then go for this i haven't tried setting number three. Oh my gosh if you're trying to burn huge warts or moles then go for this one it's great but i don't like that it's not rechargeable so now we're gonna talk about the other warts removal pen which is this one this is the original warts removal pen that i used this is how they look like once the needle is on uh with the bigger warts removal pen obviously the metal is longer but it doesn't really matter because all you're gonna use is the very sharp tip of the pen they both work exactly the same only the tip will touch your skin so it doesn't really matter how long or short the metal is what's important is you always keep the tip very clean sometimes it gets black because of constantly burning your skin and you know of course the the charcoal from your skin oh my gosh that sounds so disgusting but yeah the charcoal from your skin just transfers on the the tip of the metal i told you guys i lost my original wash removal pen so i ordered this this was too harsh for me i still like it but for what i need right now i usually get just tiny tiny warts so i decided to order again the original wash removal pen that i used to use so i'm actually really really in love with this because first of all it's rechargeable you can use it like this you can use it in bed you can use it in your chair in your table so it's really a more flexible device so the great thing about this is the num setting number one is actually not that strong so here level one two three 
So the good thing about this is that the levels work for its purpose. So level number one is supposed to be more uh, for tinier warts. And that really worked well for the warts around my eyes. So I'm going to go closer to the camera. I don't know if you can see, but here are two scabs that, I, that was left. I burned those uh, tiny warts around my eyes and it was really really quick and easy with this and number one was just this one was gentle for me and honestly I didn't even use a numbing cream anymore because I'm really used to it right now since I tried this many many times already I don't even need to use a numbing cream anymore zero warts nothing nothing else like i was able to remove this with the other watch removal pen if you're younger and you're watching this and you're interested in this please use this under adult supervision because um it's still your skin and uh, you have to be really really careful especially if you're not sure how to use this um you know try to um, get your mom uh, do it for you or your dad or someone older and someone who really knows and understands this kinds of kinds of device so uh yeah so number two of number two and number three is of course for larger moles and warts but um both of them work if you have a big mole and you're really really scared to um use a watch removal pen but you still want to use it go for level one first and go for this one which is the rechargeable one because like even number one is kind of slow um, at burning warts um, at least you have all the time in the world I'm doing in your spare time where you are in a very relaxed place you have a mirror in front of you and just focus on what you want to remove on your face and it's completely in your control if you want to like burn it and pause for a while and then burn it again you don't really have to rush it because um, you're not in the clinic and you're not in a hurry to do anything else even if it takes an hour to burn everything just make sure to like burn it well just make sure that you're doing the right thing even level one can remove a big mole so don't get me wrong don't think that level one can't burn a big mole can burn a big mole it will just take longer um, if you're kind of scared to use level three use level one but with this device, um, it's not as scary as what I'm saying. Level 1 can be harsh for beginners because, like I said, the spark is really strong since... Um, can you just imagine level 2 and level 3? I didn't, I didn't try level 2 and level 3. But like I said, if you have big mole, big warts, this is perfect for that. So that is my quick comparison of these two warts removal pen. If you guys have any questions about these devices or regarding warts removal pen, anything about it, just let me know in the comment section down below and I'll be answering your questions in my future videos. So thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave this video a big thumbs up. And also, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and click the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I post a new video and I'll see you guys again next time.